Hello and welcome to the third episode of my album recording diary. I'm Michael Watts and I'm here at Surrey Studios with Jack Vassilou, my uh, producer for this record. Uh, we've just finished the um, first session of the year. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. And uh, it was the 5am tango. Uh, I played it on this beautiful instrument, which is a Gibson L5 uh, CE, I think it's called. It's the Wes Montgomery signature model. Now, the tango was written on an acoustic guitar for acoustic guitar, but um, in the process of, of doing some research, I came across some really beautiful uh, sort of jazzy electric textures as well, and I wanted to try those out. Um, this was a bit of a challenge, actually. Archstock guitars tend to have a really uh, skinny nut here. I'm playing on flat wound strings, which in the past year or so I have got used to but there's barely any uh, string spacing, especially for, for dadgad kind of uh, chord shapes. Um, up here at the nut and at the saddle as well. I mean, it's really, you know, kind of striking cobra kind of. <clears throat> so we DI'd, there's a, as you can see, there's a humbucker here at the neck. That's all you get with the Wes Montgomery signature model. You just get one humbucker. I'd be tempted uh, to put some sort of K and K uh, pressure sensing unit here under the bridge or something like that. But nevertheless, beautiful instrument, and uh, thank you very much, Gibson London, for the loan. I'll be bringing it back uh, tomorrow, actually. <laughs> so we timed this pretty damn well, didn't we? Yeah. Um, yeah. So as I said, DI'd, but we've also used. Uh, he says, pointing to the booth, um, uh, Coles. 4038 as usual, and a match pair of Gefell M300s. It's nice having the sort of width mm. of the Gefells, and the coal really adds to the tone. Absolutely. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's nothing without them. It really comes alive with the other, with the other microphones. Well, I guess I'm not really using, <laughs> as is so often the case, I'm not using this guitar for its intended purpose. You know, this would be in standard tuning. It's because it's red. That's why you. It's because it's red. I wanted a red one. Um, I mean, basically, it would be a lot of, if, especially if it's the Wes Montgomery thing, it would be a lot of uh, thumb type. That sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, really, it's not designed for a sort of flat top and intricate finger style kind of device, but it's such a beautiful texture for, especially for this tango. Um, and once we get a little bit of uh, tremolo and the bass going on as well, um, I think it's going to be quite evocative. Nice. You know? It will, I think, yeah. We've been listening back to the tracks completely dry. There's no reverb or anything yet. And uh, I'm really happy with the performance. It's a very, uh, very special piece for me. You know, I, I really enjoyed playing this, uh, this piece of music and, and I really enjoyed the writing process as well. In fact, you can find out more about that in, uh, in another video on my channel. Uh, writing for the steel string acoustic guitar. I'd put the call out a, a month or so ago and uh, asked what you might like to see more of. The, the response itself was overwhelming and it was also uh, overwhelmingly weighted towards looking at behind the scenes. As one sadistic bastard put it, the, the blood and the tears of the, uh, the writing process. It also makes some strange noises that I'm not quite used to. Um, there is quite a lot of resonance from behind the nut and also from behind the bridge, which is lovely, if that's what you're looking for, but uh, in some cases, I'm really not. And I guess with there being like metal hardware and stuff. It makes some cool sounds though. Ooh. You can almost not use it as a guitar. Should we sample this while we're at it? Just can we, yeah. Yeah, I think we should. Ooh. Right, uh, we'll see you later, until <laughs> next time, stay tuned.